Hello YouTube, welcome to the Eugene Tordo YouTube channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's free. And uh, comment, please comment. If you don't like the video, please comment. If there's something else you'd like to see, please comment. Uh, if you watch the video even for a few minutes, uh, leave a comment, subscribe. It'd be interesting to hear from people. It's my picture of my YouTube channel. I'm just videotaping right off the screen there. And here are my uh, two uh, Android devices, my phone. You've seen this one in the uh, first video I did on data logging. This video is going to be about data logging, uh, follow up, how to set the LD droid. Now you can see this is the basic dash that comes up. Like I have my ADX file loaded for 90. I'll show you how to do that. But this is the basic dash. You can see how it's different than that dash because you can configure it. It's a very configurable dash. But once you get ALDL Droid loaded on there, you just go to Play Store, type in ALDL Droid, and download. I think it's $20. It's worth it if you're going to be doing data logging. That and get yourself a cable or a Bluetooth device. Uh, but uh, basically, you just open it up, go to the right hand corner, click on it, and then come to settings. Uh, there's all sorts of settings here you can go through uh, setting up your Bluetooth device. Uh, uh, hardware deacceleration. Uh, there's a head-up display that is for uh, what it does is it reverses the image. So if you lay it on your dash, it will reflect off your windshield. Uh, that's how good. Well, that works is, uh, is how well it reflects off your windshield, the angle of your windshield, all that, all sorts of stuff. Well, let's get back to uh, loading a data stream file. That's what you need to connect for your particular car. Okay, right now I got it set for my 90 Corvette. Uh, all my experience, data logging, burning chips, tuning, that's all done with my 90 Corvette. Uh, there's places you can go. I'll leave links to learn a, about a particular car. Uh, there's LT1, 94 through 95, I see there. I never noticed that before. But this is the, this device, I don't have the most recent update of, of ALDL Droid. And, uh, there are more uh, files in there. In fact, uh, let's see. I believe I've seen a file for a 90 LT5 here. There we go. We'll click on that. And then we'll come down here all the way to the bottom and reset dashboard ADX default. That will reset your dash for your particular ADX file. Every ADX file will be different. We'll hit the back button. And nothing came up. Hmm. Let's do that again. Might have to reset it a couple of times. Reset ADS mash. Resetting reset. And there we go. It's different from the 90. I don't know if you can compare that in the video, but there's different sensors. Now like uh, here, for instance, you have a left and right oxygen sensor. That's because the LT5 have two oxygen sensors. When I say 90 LT5, I'm not talking about the, the LT5 that comes in the new ZR1. The 2019 ZR1 or 18. Uh, I'm talking about the uh, LT5 that came in a 90 core of that, which was an all aluminum twin over cam 32 valve. Uh, you can Google it and I'll give you all sorts of information. I believe they ran them 90 through 95 and the ZR1 only. Uh, there's other uh, stuff here too. Uh, let's say, uh, say you have an 84 core of that. Go to settings, go to data stream file. Look for L83. I believe I seen it earlier in here. Let's see. L83. L83. There it is. L83. That's what would be in the 84. We'll probably have to do this a couple of, reset a couple of times. We'll find out here shortly. Go back. Yeah, it did that again. I don't know why. But I'll have to reset it again, I guess. Reset ADS, A ADX default. And there it is. Once again, it just has those sensors loaded. But, this is very configurable, so you want to uh, configure it differently. Just uh, double tap on a screen, click uh, click add. We're going to add a sensor. Let's see. BLM, I think I'm going to run coolant temp. Basic readout, nah, I think I'll do a circular bar graph. There we go. And then we'll hit create. Just the create button. There we go. Here it is. We'll put it over here somewhere. And let's see. We'll resize it. There we go. Just like that. Double click. 
and there we go cool it's them now you can change the colors and stuff like that like you see on tack on my other on my phone I got different colors you can go in there play around it do all sorts of things now let's say I want to uh, add another one here we go basic readout uh, now let's go BLM let's see engine speed there we go basic readout we'll do an analog gauge what the heck and we'll go down here create there it is analog gauge like I said you can configure this different colors all sorts of things slide it around you can delete them all you gotta do is double click uh, say you want to delete it just hit edit and scroll down and hit remove all you have to do is hit remove and it will remove it I'm not gonna bother since I went through all that trouble uh, you can save your dash I've done that and uh, for, I don't know why but it, it, I always have problems reloading that file and I don't know maybe I'll have to get with the uh, creator on that uh, but let's see go here we'll go to about here you go ALD droid about uh, Sebastian Jarrell I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name right uh, but uh, I like to think I am if you do get ALDL droid uh, and you have you know, questions you can ask this guy you just uh, message him and uh, he's usually pretty quick to respond you can go to the uh, I don't see if you can see that there is uh, gearhead EFI .com theorem. go there I'll provide links and uh, they actually have a thread just on LDL droid and uh, you can ask questions on there and the uh, the creator of the software will get back to you usually pretty quick he's usually pretty good about that so uh, best thing to do with this software is just play around with it learn it it's not that complicated I'm an old guy and I learned it so uh, you know get to it and learn it if you want to do data logging and uh, I'll, maybe I'll do some future videos here shortly on uh, burning a chip and uh, other things remember all my experience with my 90 Corvette unfortunately uh, but uh, you can go to the theorems and ask questions a lot of people are a great help especially uh, if you go to like the third gen doesn't matter if you have a third gen uh, Camaro or not uh, go there and ask questions what has to do with GM stuff those guys are usually pretty good uh, this could be used for Fords from that era too uh, and other cars so uh, you just got to go out there and do a little research learn the stuff and you're good to go alright once again uh, please subscribe to my channel I'm trying to uh, increase my subscriber base it's free uh, I also have this free kitten here sorry about the messy desk if anyone wants that kit and let me know in the 17921 area code come pick it up playful little guy right now he's snake doing something he doesn't do often take a nap okay remember Eugene Torto YouTube channel go there subscribe have a happy day God bless